What's up, 10 Scale Squad? I feel really fortunate every time that I read the comments and I hear from a lot of you saying, hey, I'm getting back into the hobby and this video helped me. Or I'm new to the hobby and I didn't know where to start and your videos were a great resource. That is awesome. Pretty much everything that I've had on this channel have been like ready to run stuff. But back in the day, that was kind of the exception and not the rule. Most RCs that you would buy came as a kit that you would have to assemble yourself whether it was like the Tamiya stuff or the Losi stuff. In fact, my first RC was a kit. But nowadays it's hard to find a kit build that isn't targeted toward an experienced hobbyist. That is, until now. just getting started. Maybe you've been in the hobby for a while and you've always wanted to build a kit, but some of the kits might seem a little bit intimidating. Hopefully I can clear up some of the questions and get you guys inspired to get out there and start wrenching. Let's do it. All right, guys, here it is. This is the MN86KS. Kind of a strange name, but we all know what this is. This is a Mercedes uh, G500, obviously. The G-Wagon. This is a 112 scale crawler that comes as a kit, completely disassembled. But the detail is pretty incredible. I mean, you've got working doors, the working rear hatch, you got a full scale interior in there. I mean, the thing is pretty cool looking. The hood opens and uh, you can get to the motor and everything in there. How cool is that? This just uses a little 380 motor, but uh, that should be plenty of power for this little thing. And everything that you need to build this is in the box, minus tools, a radio system, and an ESC. And when I say tools, these are the only tools that I use to put this whole thing together. So if you've got a small precision screwdriver and a wheel wrench, you're good to go. That's all you need. Everything, the servo, the motor, the even the grease for the diffs, it's all in the box. Now guys, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Look at what Customs did to this box. They gave it the old slash and dash. I mean, they could have opened it super easy right here if they wanted to inspect it, but nope, they just got a box cutter and went to town on this thing. Uh, reassembling this box is probably gonna be more difficult than assembling the car, believe it or not. Jeez, freaking customs. But even after the box fiasco, I wasn't missing any parts for this thing. But how big is this thing? It's 12 scale, so let's look at it next to a 10 scale and maybe a different scale, just so you can get an idea. Here it is next to a 10 scale car. This is my Kyosho Phaser Mark II. So as you can see, uh, as far as Mercedes goes, we got a pretty sweet collection here. Still plenty big to be doable outside. This isn't like an indoor only kind of crawler. Now this is also something that you can build in kit form or ready to run. Obviously this one's in ready to run, but this is a 16th scale. So when you put them next to each other, I mean, there you can really see, uh, there you can really see the scale of it. So a big problem with some kits is the pieces don't always fit together and the instructions can be a little obtuse or hard to follow. But this, everything was super easy to follow. Uh, it's basically just like putting together a Lego kit. In fact, the whole thing, build start from finish, I did it in a couple sections, but overall it took me right around five hours or so. So that's everything from the truck to the body and all the accessories as well, because this does have light buckets and lenses for all kinds of stuff. In fact, there's even an upgraded model, which comes with all kinds of other accessories as well, like roof racks and rear tire carrier snorkel, all kinds of good stuff. I just got the basic one though. So the instructions are super easy to follow. Like I said, it's just like a big Lego kit. And uh, I didn't have any issues. All the screw sizes and components are really easy to locate. They're all in individually marked bags and everything fit together really nicely. So like I said, this took me about five hours to build and I'm not an expert by any means. 
And you could really go to town customizing this. I mean, it comes with headlights, but like I said, I mean, you could put a full light kit in this thing. You could get in here and paint some of the details, you know, like if you wanted to paint the diff covers, you could definitely do that. The exhaust tips and the mufflers underneath, you know, you could go in there with the paintbrush and paint all that stuff silver if you wanted. You could really go as crazy as you wanted and really make this thing your own. Now, as I mentioned before, this does not come with a radio or an ESC. So those are the only things that you'll have to provide. So if you're looking for a radio, might I suggest this one? This is the Flysky GT3C. This is a three channel transmitter. You can customize just about anything you would want to from endpoints to exponential, even ABS. And this thing definitely gets my vote for best bang for buck transmitter. As far as ESCs, obviously there's a million of them out there. Uh, I think a good fit for this would be a uh, Hobbywing 1060. I've got a few of those in uh, a couple of my crawlers and you can even find them with a programming card and programmer ESC. It's really easy to do. Uh, they're really, really small. Don't take up a lot of room and you can fit one in here, no problem. So this kit is $82, the one that I have here. A receiver and transmitter, that's gonna set you back about 60 bucks. That ESC is right around 30 bucks. So you've got less than $200 in a 12 scale, super capable crawler that you built yourself. Or maybe you just really like the looks of this thing and you think it would look cool sitting on your shelf and you can take pride knowing that you built it. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. It just looks so pretty. I don't really wanna take it out and get it dirty. It's just so pretty, I don't wanna hurt it. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, I don't wanna get that beautiful interior all muddy, but who knows, let me know what you think down below. Now, sure, there's gonna be some people in the comments saying that's not a real crawler because it doesn't have blah, 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 blah. And yeah, while this isn't gonna be the most capable of crawlers, it might be just as satisfying to drive knowing that you built it yourself. So taking something that's just a bag of bolts and parts and taking it and having fun with it outside, knowing that you built it yourself, man, that's what it's all about. So if you're interested in buying one of these, I'll put the link in the description. All right, guys, there you have it. What do you think? Are you into building kits? Is it something that you wanted to try, but maybe you just couldn't get inspired to do it? Or maybe I'm totally crazy. Whatever it is, let me know down, uh, down, down there. As always, a big thank you to these guys floating in space right here, the 10 Scale Squad. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. I like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. And I've got some cool stuff coming up. You're gonna want to stick around. All right, guys, until next time. Pause the mind if you don't listen that much. Some of y'all don't listen.